Okay. Uh, Recording in progress. Good day, everybody. I'm Mike Deacon. I'm a commercial finance broker. So um, what do we do? We source commercial finance around the world. Um, we even do it in the US and Canada, but we use partners or specialist firms that can actually um, handle our inquiries. We also get our asked as a peripheral for uh, commercial property deals. So people want to buy and sell properties around the world. And I have connections all over the world that may be able to help. Um, we do business consulting, so I've done a lot of work for the UK government and run some projects, as well as doing the project management side, which I've just mentioned, done some work for the Department of Health in the past. And we do work with private and uh, public sectors, including charity and not-for-profit organisations. Why do you use us? Very simply, um, I, I'm experienced in my business. I've been around 44 years in commercial finance. I'm also director of my national association, which has 2,000 members. 730 firms, practical firms, and 130 lending patrons are regulated by the UK's Financial Conduct Authority. So everything we have to do has to be done on the basis of trust. We have a duty of care to all our customers. So what sort of commercial finance do I offer? Well, basically, all the range of products you see on the screen. We have access in the UK and abroad, so over 600 different lenders. So it's not just the mainstream banks. We know all sorts of strange, wild, and wonderful people that lend money. So the thing to do is always ask. So how much do we lend? Anything from £5,000 upwards with absolutely no upper limit on a whole range of products and services. Here's a few of the things I'm working on at the moment. I'm working on a buy and build venture debt deal for a dental practitioner business. It's looking for £5 million. I'm looking for a very interesting deal for an owner, uh, an author who has some commercial royalties that they want to actually um, pass on through uh, a, an estate and a wealth management type deal through a commercial loan sale. So I'm organizing that with a major merchant bank. I'm also doing a sale on license back transaction, which is intellectual property, which someone wants to leverage to grow their business, which is effectively online retail. So if you want to speak to somebody who actually knows what they're about, who understands commercial finance and is trusted, I'm the guy to speak to. So what I ask people to look for, and a number of members of GC, uh, GPT know what I do, and they know the story, but very simply, you listen actively. You make sure you listen out for what people have to say. So, for example, they, there are lots of positive messages, like you're taking on new staff, you're moving to bigger premises, you're looking to actually grow your business. Sometimes you get negative messages, and they include people, you know, wanting to, you know, we're not being paid uh, on our invoices. We're having problems financing stock purchases, which we need to fulfill orders. Sometimes I owe money to the taxman, or the bank wants some repayment, I need to refinance. All of those things are active listening. So when people talk about money, they're either positive or negative. All of those represent an opportunity for me. So good introducers for me are accountants, bookkeepers, believe it or not, insolvency practitioners. So a bus company isn't always bus because you can always see next from the ashes. Commercial lawyers are great. Mortgage brokers are great. Bankers, because I don't know every banker in the world, much as though sometimes people think I do. And really any SME business that's seeking help in making decisions about borrowing. And someone who also knows an SME business that might need help about commercial finance. I'm there to give help, just ask the question because you may, you may get a good answer. So here's a very short video just to explain what I do. I hope that it works. Whoops, one second. Ha ha ha. Always the way when you want technology to work for you. It doesn't work. There you go. Okay, thanks very much indeed for listening. My positive contributions this week have been four great ones to ones. Have a smashing fortnight, everybody. Thank you very much, Mike. That was uh, recording.